Hello everybody, welcome to a, actually our first tutorial on the Trail Simulations YouTube channel. Uh, we've had a couple requests of everyone asking us how you use this uh, P42 DC Enhancement Pack in the Scenario Editor. I want to point out for first, if you are not good with this game, you probably shouldn't be downloading this pack. This is a step-by-step -step on how to use this in the game. If you have followed the README, this should work perfectly for you. Even though I am one of the developers of this pack, we are still running the same exact version. Mine just happens to have decompiled scripts. So I'm going to put that out there right now. This also does not support save and resume. So if you go to save a scenario and you go to resume it, it's not going to save your controls. It's actually going to, it's not going to do that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And I do want to say if you do end up using Quick Drive, we are not offering support for that because we don't know how Quick Drive behaves with this locomotive. Also, in addition to that, we are also not allowing support for anyone who modifies the locomotive in any way, shape, or form. This is meant as is, as a standalone pack, and does not overwrite any of the core features of the original. With that out of the way, let's get started. So I go to build, and this is a modified version train simulator as well. So this is not available for download. Do not ask for it. That's for one, piracy, and for two, it is a personal modification. So I go to build. Uh, let's see, first thing we need to do, uh, we need to hit the scenario tab. You can tell I've already tried to do this, so I'm going to delete these. If it'll let me delete. I have a lot of assets installed. <laughs> so, new scenario. And we are going to just select the root origin. And then just give it a quick scenario name, so P42EP. We're going to hit create. It's going to load. Also keep in mind this is the old loading screen. So you're not going to have these three buttons on the bottom. They don't work anyway. So we're in. Hopefully you know how to navigate through the world. If you don't, um, I really can't teach you how. I would definitely advise looking at the manual and the documentation for that. So how I got to this screen. So basically... We go to this tab here, I click this, I go to this tab, all the way down to RSC, all the way down to P42 Pack 1, make sure it's that middle checkbox, then you have a bunch of things load in. This is the vanilla one, beginning in RSC, this is your vanilla P42 DC. Do not use this one. You want the lead and trail. The difference between these is your lead is for AI. Your trail is for AI. But you can use either of the two on a player train. So for scenario creators, a lead and trail had been provided for you. There was a really nasty headlight bug that I could not get resolved. So it ended up resulting in two different units. So you lay down the lead locomotive. Boom. Or if you want, you can lay down the trail. Completely up to you. Both of these being in the scene together will not tank your FPS. And the reason for that is because we have optimized the scripts to where it will barely have any performance tanks on your computer. It's actually more optimized than the original. So I just click the driver icon, then the locomotive, hit play, yes. You're probably going to hear an echo. And you are now in the cab of this locomotive. So. That's how to get going. You can build your own consist. That's something we're not going to get into the video. But this is how to actually get the locomotive up and running in the scenario editor. That way there is no confusion for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Patreon. And uh, we will surely have more content like this available in the future. So thank you for watching and goodbye.